This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Finbert. So what is Finbert? Finbert is a BERT model pre-trained on financial communication text. The purpose is to enhance financial NLP research and practice. Okay, so let's look at a demo of Finbert. So Finbert has been trained on following three financial communication corpus. Uh, the total corporate size is 4.9 billion tokens. So you have uh, basically corporate reports. You have earnings called transcripts and analyst reports. It is actually pre-trained on this particular uh, text. Okay. So let's and Hugging Face. Uh, they have hosted this particular model on Hugging Face. Um, so we can now look at a short demo of Finbert right what we can do with finbert okay so we can do financial sentiment analysis with finbert for this what we have to do is that uh, in your google collab notebook you have to install transformers library once installed transformers library you will import bert tokenizer and bert for sequence classification because we want to do sentiment analysis okay and also we need to create a pipeline okay that is what is imported over here then we create the finbert uh, model so which is basically uh, bird for sequence classification from pre-trained we import this particular finbert model and its tokenizer okay and we have three uh, labels over here because it tries to classify sentiment as positive negative and neutral okay then we create a pipeline over here for sentiment analysis uh, we pass the finbert model and tokenizer as well and here are examples so these are some sentences right there is a shortage of capital and we need extra financing growth is strong and we have plenty of liquidity there are doubts about our finances profits are flat okay so first one is negative sentiment second one is uh, positive right third one is again negative uh, last one may be negative or neutral okay depending upon how you see it okay so let's pass these sentences to this pipeline and see what are the results from this particular model so if you see over here as i said the first sentence is being classified as negative and there is a score the second sentence is positive third sentence is again negative right and the last sentence is neutral okay so this is how it uh, classifies basically sentiment classification on this financial text is done okay so these set of sentences is an exact copy from whatever is present over here in this particular page okay so i just copied this code now let me try with some other sentences okay some recent sentences with, with respect to indian context okay so the first sentence is about higher oil prices um, basically the market uh, once the elections are over uh, the petrol prices are supposed to be higher expectation is that right so yeah from a uh, context perspective this seems like a negative sent uh, sentiment the second one is Tata Motors registered total sales of in February grows by 27% over last year. Definitely positive sentiment. Uh, the third uh, sentence is in the last 20 years we were known for Indians emergences and IT superpower. In the next 20 years I believe along with technology will mark our emergence as a superpower in energy and life sciences. Positive sentiment. Markets fell by 2.5% and extended the losing streak. So negative sentiment. right? So these are se uh, sentences which are relevant to the current Indian market. Okay, so I want to give this as input to see what kind of sentiment comes out of it for these sentences. How does Finbert classify these sentences, right? How does a model trained on financial data classify these sentences? So I pass these sentences to the pipeline instantiated with Finbert, right? Uh, and it's tokenized. If you look at the results over here, uh, for the first sentence, uh, it's about rising oil prices, right? But the label over here is positive. Actually, the expected sentiment here is negative because rising oil prices uh, would be detrimental to the economy and the common people. Okay. Uh, the second sentence is positive. So it is predicted as positive over here. So it does a good job there. Uh, the third sentence is also positive. It is also predicting as positive. And the last sentence is actually negative and it is also predicted as negative. Okay. So Finbert based embeddings for uh, sentiment classification over here has done a really good job uh, so this is how you can use finbert model to perform financial sentiment classification using the hugging face transformers like now let's go into a little bit detail of what is finbert model okay 
So as I said over here, it says that FinBert is actually a BERT model pre-trained on financial communication. Okay, so there is this paper also which uh, they have linked over here. So let's look at the paper for some kind of details, right? So what they have done is that they have taken a BERT model and pre-trained it on financial text. Okay, what are the three types of financial text? One is corporate, annual and quarterly filings. Okay, financial analyst reports and earnings conference call transcripts. So they say that they have obtained close to 60K forms, um, 10K and 142k forms, 10k Q of Russell 300 firms for these many years. So these uh, uh, basically these forms have the uh, what you call your quarterly and annually annual filings. Okay, that is what is this thing. From these forms they extract certain text. Okay, the second type of financial text is analyst reports. So financial analysts are the most important information intermediary in the financial market and research consistently finds that their written reports provide information to investors. So they obtained again close to 476k reports uh, for S&P 500 firms between 2003 and 2012. And lastly, they obtained 136k earning conference call transcripts of 7, uh, 740 public firms between uh, 2004 and 2019. Uh, okay, so this is huge amount of data, financial data, right? And across long time periods as well. So they have close to 4.9 billion tokens, uh, you know, in this particular text. Okay, so they used, uh, um, uh, they pre-trained BERT using standard configuration. Um, that is what is explained over here. So once the BERT was pre-trained on this much uh, amount of tokens, um, you get FinBERT. Right. And what did they do with FinBert? They uh, tried sentiment uh, analysis, uh, basically sentiment classification um, of what they evaluated against is that sample of sequences from financial analyst reports. The sample had 10,000 sentences labeled. So against this data set, they were checking for financial sentiment analysis performance. And they say that this model outperforms all the other approaches over here. Okay. But they didn't stop with this just uh, doing a financial sentiment analysis. So what they did was uh, interesting thing which they did was they wanted to actually see whether this financial birds greater accuracy in classifying sentiment analysis can be used for some further downstream tasks. Okay. For example, they wanted to, uh, you know, uh, identify the tone of a conference call. Basically, they wanted to uh, you know, uh, use NLP algorithms. They wanted to compare the performance in classifying tone in earning conference calls. Okay. So managers usually discuss firms past and future economic performance in earning conference calls. So they use two measures to measure the true sentiment of the calls, investors reaction to a call and firms future fundamentals. Okay. So how do they capture investors reactions to a call? They say that we can do it using uh, abnormal returns. Okay, uh, so after the conference call of earnings call, what kind of returns uh, came for this particular, uh, you know, the particular financial stock, All right? So for uh, abnormal returns uh, to capture the market reaction of a conference call, uh, they use this following uh, regression formula. Okay, so in the uh, regression formula, they define this abnormal, uh, what you call um, uh, returns as a cumulative abnormal returns as in a three day window centered around the earning conference call date. Okay. So there is a tone which measures the sentiment of the conference call using NLP. Then you have certain other parameters like earnings, right? Size, loss and other things. Okay. So for the tone, what they did was they used financial bird to classify sentiment as the percentage of positive sentences minus the percentage of negative sentences from the presentation portion of the earnings call. Okay. That is how they uh, got the tone, right? As a percentage. Then they also look at, as I said, earnings, unexpected earnings, um, firm size, negative earnings for details. You can look into this appendix over here. So that is the cumulative abnormal returns. Okay. Then another thing they looked at is what future earnings. Again, there is a regression formula for future earnings based on some previous papers. Again, it makes use of tone and some other parameters, okay, which are present over here, like the firm's age, growth opportunities, firm size, accruals, okay, uh, complexity of operations, volatility of operations, things like that. And what they say is that 
by using financial word they could actually improve the results of uh, getting the confidence tone by using this tone they could estimate future earnings as well as abnormal returns very well okay so that is what they did with using financial word and what they say is that the sentiment classification of financial word how much does it contribute to this uh, you know uh, computation of this future earnings and abnormal accumulative abnormal returns okay so if you go to the conclusion of this paper what they say over here is that uh, financial bird is superior in terms of sentiment classification in financial uh, texts right and uh, this could be used for uh, you know uh, accurately measuring the tone of earning conference calls and what they say is that this has greater economic significance and greater explanatory power for market reaction than tones measured by other nlp algorithms okay and what they what they are saying is that uh, by introducing finbert and quantifying its superior performance over algorithms popular in finance and accounting research this study primarily contributes to the growing literature that uses textual analysis in financial economics okay and they say that these results have implications for investment professionals and financial market regulators who increasingly use nlp algorithms to extract insights from financial texts so you, if you are working in the financial domain you can use finbert to do some kind of sentiment analysis of financial text what they also say somewhere in this paper is that you could also use these uh, embeddings which you get bird embeddings which you get on financial text from finbert for further downstream tasks maybe it could be financial document classification and so on i hope you find this video on finbert useful if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link to this hugging face page as well as you know the paper in the description of the video